They went from shop to shop, looting and pillaging. But why are Africans killing their fellow African brothers like this? Some locals were disgusted by the actions of their compatriots. People from the community, it's people yeah. that we live with, people we people do People live nearby, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Why are they doing this? Why do you think they were doing this? Personal envy, personal gains, jealousy, jealousy yeah. Yeah, things like that. The cleanup has begun, and not all South Africans are against foreigners. Some are embarrassed by it all. It should be not happening. This thing is disgracing us as the South Africans. It shows that we didn't learn anything so much. We don't saw anything. And so this is the kind of shop that was looted here late last night in Ntuzuma, north of Durban. You can see the shelves are empty, the fridges are down. This particular shop belonged to an Ethiopian businessman. He had to flee before the looters arrived. The shopkeeper returns. Everything is gone. South Africa's cancer of Afrophobia violence has already claimed his brother's life. He was shot two years ago in the same township. I don't have anything to eat. I don't have place to sleep. From today, I don't have money to pay the rent. I stop my money, stop my shop. I've got four shops, all shop is going, four shop. We don't have anything now here. My life is very dangerous. I don't know what can I do. But I want to, if I'm going to my country, is a big problem. I don't have country to go. I don't know where I'm going to go. I'm confused. I don't know. This is where some of the victims of xenophobic violence come, a refugee camp in the heart of Chatsworth Sportsfield. Here, you will find Zimbabweans, Malawians, Mozambicans, Somalis, and many others. They are huddled together with the meager resources they managed to salvage. Unless the government puts an end to this violence, South Africa knows all too well that it could be catastrophic.